Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I was asked about the event at the Hollywood Museum just recently that celebrated the Waltons 50th and includes an exhibit of items from the Waltons that will be on display at the Hollywood Museum for the next six months. Uh, so there were a number of you there. Uh, so I really appreciate people showing up to help celebrate the Waltons. Uh, so I thought I would share a few just candid shots and, and fill you in on just what went on at that event. An update message also about my holiday CD, Home for Christmas, which you can order through my website, judynorton.com. Um, we've been dealing with some technical uh, things with the website, so uh, notifications have not been going out about us having received orders. So I have been getting those. I'm a little behind because of traveling. So since I'm signing all of those personally, um, it had to wait for me to return to be able to sign all of those. And for those of you who requested special personalizations of who you wanted it signed to, otherwise I'm either signing them to the person who sent the request or I am just signing it um, in case it is meant to be a gift for someone else. Um, if you've had any issues in receiving or, or it doesn't show up in the next couple of weeks, do post something here in the comments and let me know um, so I can sort of try and chase that down for you. But if you haven't received it yet, it is simply because I haven't had an opportunity to finish filling and signing and getting sent out all of these. I'm so, so grateful that so many people would like the CD, but it's a lot of work and I'm going as fast as I can. So thank you for your patience. The event was hosted by Danelle Dadigan, who is the founder and president of the Hollywood Museum. And in terms of Walton cast in attendance, in person were Richard Thomas, Michael Learned, Eric Scott, me, and Cammie Kotler. And then we had a panel Q&A that was moderated by Leonard Malton. Uh, so that was, that was a lot of fun. He's such a pro. And on video from the UK was John Walmsley. And then Mary McDonough sent in a special video message for everyone who was there. In addition to the Walton family cast, there were a number of people who guest starred on the Waltons who came to help us celebrate, including Leslie Winston, who of course played Cindy Walton, Ben's wife, Lee Purcell, who played Bobby Strong, the wing walker, Ivy Jones, who was in two episodes, The Fulfillment and The Bicycle, Maeve Nutter, who played Bobby Bigelow, Keith Coogan, who played Jeffrey Burton, Sissy Wellman, who played Sissy, and ultimately married Yancey Tucker and was married to him in real life. Ellen Gear, who is the real life daughter of Will Gear and appeared in two episodes as two different characters. In The Pledge, she was Roni Cotter, Sweet Billy's sister. And then in The Ceremony, she was Ava Mann. And then Lucy Dreyer, who played George in the episode, The Braggart. There were also a number of other celebrity guests who came to help us celebrate. Those included Kate Linder from The Young and the Restless, Carolyn Hennessy, who was recently seen in a brilliant episode of NCIS, Anson Williams from Happy Days, Christopher Knight from The Brady Bunch, Sam Harris, fabulous vocalist, Eileen Graff, Jerry Jewell, Aaron Murphy from Bewitched, George Chikaris from the original West Side Story, and Stephen Wishnoff from the series Oz. So we were very grateful for all these people coming out to help us celebrate and view the exhibit and, and just uh, honor the museum as well. Some of these shots that I'm sharing, I took, and they're not particularly good. There's reflections and everything, but people said, oh, you know, take some pictures. So I did the best I could and tried to give you a sense of the exhibit and then the beautiful room that they had decorated in holiday spirit for where we did our panel discussion. Um, and we had a lot of fun at the, at the interview, uh, of course, uh, we talked about the series and we talked about the dinner scenes that went on and on. And uh, they asked Michael about now playing Jeffrey Dahmer's grandmother and what a stretch that is from Olivia Walton on the Waltons. Um, and um, she was very amusing. She said, well, his grand she didn't know that he was chopping people up in the basement. And then she said, how could someone not know someone was chopping up people in your basement? <laughs> Again, a far cry from the Waltons. 
uh, but we enjoyed the time that we were able to uh, talk about the show, reminisce, talk about uh, what we are doing now. Although there was video being shot, I do not know what the plan for it is and I do not have access to it. So it's not something that I can post. Whether the museum is looking to post something, I have no idea. Amongst some of the items on display at the museum were um, at least one costume piece for each member of the cast. Um, in my case, it is the pink suit that Mary Ellen wore in, I think, our final reunion movie, um, A Walton Easter. And that was, in some cases, there were outfits from the the final reunion special. They have Earl Hamner's typewriter that he actually wrote on for real. Um, the three Emmys that Michael won for playing Olivia Walton. There's scripts. There is um, a lot of the memorabilia like the game and the dolls and, and books about, you know, little, little uh, sort of children's books about the Waltons. So just a lot of sweet things for us all to kind of uh, bring back memories and for the the fans to get a chance to see those things in person. After the Q&A, we um, took pictures with people and then we went down to the museum floor and shared that with the people who were in attendance. Richard had to blast off because uh, he was kind enough to give us several hours of his time on a show day. He is currently performing on stage at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood in To Kill a Mockingbird as Atticus Finch. I know a number of people have mentioned that as the show has been on tour, they've had a chance to catch him uh, in that show in different cities. He's absolutely fabulous in it. I went up to San Francisco and saw him there and my husband and I were able to meet up with Richard after and go have a bite to eat and just share some time, some family time together. Uh, speaking of which, the week before the museum, uh, a number of us, Michael, Cami, Eric and I were in studio in in um, KABC Studios to do a two-hour radio interview to talk about the Waltons and also to help promote the museum event. And uh, Richard was on the phone. He took a half hour away from rehearsals. Yes, they still rehearse, even when you're on tour, when you move to a new city. Sometimes they have understudy rehearsals in case someone has to go on. Sometimes they just run through things because spacing might be a little bit different in a new theater. So he had a rehearsal and he got uh, permission to come join us on the phone for a half hour. John Walmsley joined us via phone from the UK. Uh, so it was nice to have all of them there. Afterwards, uh, Michael, Eric, Cammy, and I went to dinner. So we had a lovely opportunity to catch up. We always love when we have family time together and that's what we consider it is family time. Uh, it's very precious to us, so we grab that whenever we can. Um, so that was that was a nice treat for all of us. So that was um, a little bit about the museum event that we had. I also did my uh, concerts in North Carolina, which were wonderful, and, and quite a few people came out to, to view those. So I appreciate those who came out to share my concert with me. Um, so it was a it was a busy trip for me uh, going between LA and North Carolina and then back to LA for the museum events. So now I'm back home and I am uh, doing re-entry and catching up on on lots of things, including here my YouTube channel and um, all of all of that activity. That's what I have for you for this review of the Hollywood Museum Walton's 50th event and some other updates. I will be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.